Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Afternoon Rotor Talk Live, Episode 5. we got a lot to cover here. I'm going to do some uh, housekeeping, so bear with me here. The uh, reason you see the lights off behind me it has nothing to do with how you view me. It's everything to do with our air conditioner being out. It's 90 outside. Humidity is about the same. And it's probably about 75, 77 in the house. But in our bedroom, it's about 82. So fortunately, we called uh, AC person who put the unit in, and they should be able to get here sometime between now and 6 p.m. Eastern time this tonight. So hopefully, we'll get some relief because I'll tell you what, um, air conditioning's a must in Florida. Yeah, I'll just I'll just come out and say that. So hopefully, everybody's had a great weekend and a great day today. Um, also, wanted to announce. Um, that today is my beautiful Valerie's birthday. So if you wanted to wish her a happy birthday by a uh, generous contribution to the coffee fund, they will great. that would most greatly be appreciated. I'll tell you that right now. I know without a doubt that would not be a problem. I don't think Tom, Thomas O, Rick, Indra, welcome from Holland. Thank you for joining. Um, yes, I do hope they can fix it, sweetheart. I really, really do. That hopefully it's 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 not going to be too much. I know we have a ten year warranty on the compressors, so um, very hopeful of getting that addressed and taken care of here. So a, again, happy birthday to my uh, much way 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 better half. She's way better looking than me, and and in just about, and in just about every other category, she's the best. So she's put up with me for this long. I think it's I think it's for life. So. So make sure you wish her a happy birthday, okay? Um, just a couple of housekeeping notes here. We have Tuesday Night Rotor Talk Live. James, welcome. I uh, have Tuesday Night Ro Yellow Lab. Welcome from the UK. Thank you for joining. Um, we have Tuesday Night Rotor Talk Live coming up. Uh, drone Shots, welcome. Yes, I do very much. Um, Tuesday Night Rotor Talk Live um, coming up. And I'm very hopeful. Ian, thank you. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, very hopeful of having a very special guest. I've been trying to get him on for a while, and I think our schedules will finally be lining up. So, um, Thomas from Ireland, welcome. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate that. Um, thank you guys for wishing her a happy birthday. Um, let me type this in the chat here. We got a lot to talk about. typing and I can't type and talk at the same time. Original Chino, welcome. Thanks for joining today. All right, Mel, welcome. Thanks for joining today. Um, got a lot to talk about here. I don't know if you saw, but Billy Kyle put out a, was the first thing we're gonna talk about, wheels in Mavic 2 photos show up in recent DJI patent application. He put it out through Drone DJ. And by the way, if you guys haven't um, been a part of Drone DJ, um, definitely you know sign up for their regular emails. I get them every day. I you view them mostly on Twitter. And Billy Kyle writes for them. Uh, Billy's a great writer as well as you know everything else he does pretty much turns to gold. But anyway, uh, Wheels and Mavic 2 photos show up in recent DJI patent application. Um, you know, and there's some drawings of what looks like a robotic device with a camera on it with these wheels. Um, they said a Twitter user Azadu, A-Z-A-D-U-X, was first to make this reference uh, as he surfaced uh, the link to patent document and photos. And you probably saw them floating around. There were some other patent drawings for folding arms for the Mavic um, out there too, written in Chinese. So thank you guys for wishing Valerie a happy birthday. She really appreciates that. that that's great. You know, we're all, uh, Nico, welcome to the show. Um, James, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And the coffee fund appreciates that. And my beautiful wife appreciates that. That's great. She's a, she's a, she's a keeper. I'll tell you that absolutely positively a keeper. So, um, you know, we're going to get into, into some of the meat of it. Um, hopefully you guys watched the video that I just put out today on, regarding why the event was postponed. Um, I, you know, 
I went through, you know, ones that are highly probable, probable and, and less likely. And, you know, there's been all kind of talk around, you know, why the events postponed. And what I think is kind of a funny thing that I wanted to touch on first was DJI has not released an official statement. Um, Mike Fly's video, welcome today. Thank you for joining. Um, DJI is not a... a put out an official statement regarding this, let alone a new date about this as well. Now, I was watching, oh, oh another, another piece of um, housekeeping here, so to speak, but I'm going to be on Oz by Drone next week, next Saturday. So you guys, James, thank you so much, appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be on Oz by Drone next Saturday, and it's at it would be at nine Eastern, eight Central uh, uh, time here in, in the states. So um, if you guys get a chance, watch it. They got, those guys do a great show. I mean, I, I just I, I watched a few of the episodes. I watched the one with Billy Collin, and I watched some last night and participated in the chat. And uh, Mel's uh, Mel told me about them as well. So. Um, I'm, I got an email from Greg uh, asking me to be on the show next week, and I'll be very happy to do that. They're great guys. Um, they were talking about not only just a software issue, but a root directory issue that somebody was able to hack some code. Um, Ronald, welcome. I, Ron, I, I got your email. Thank you for that wonderful email, uh, Ron Lockwood. Appreciate that. Um, I, I replied back to you. Uh, Tyrone Roberts, welcome. Um, got some Oz by Drone is great. I hope I hope you got I hope you watch that. They have a great show. Absolutely, Casey, welcome. Thank you for joining this afternoon. Um, they're thinking it's it's some of this root directory issue with the Mavic Pro Two or Mavic Two, and um, that that's why there's the delay, and they need to put a fix in for this. Now, you know, as I stated in the video, you know. I'm a quality assurance software tester. I've been doing that for 15 years. And one of the things with this, and I know some people say, you know, it's easy to get a patch out there, get a fix out there and get it tested. Well, it's easy to get the patch and get the fix out there, but you have to remember a couple of things. You know, developers are under the gun and they want to get this done as soon as possible. And they'll do what's called, it's called a unit test. And it's, it's a very direct, easy test to test to make sure that it's working. And it's one of those things, it will pass all the time. Now, what quality assurance testers do, and I've been doing this for the last 15 years, we try to find ways to break it, to break the code, and to try different combinations and permutations. And that does take time. And I think with something like this, if it was a root directory type of issue, that's embedded in the code, that's pretty deep. And you know, it may only happen on certain when certain conditions are met or certain options are, are, are pushed. You know, you see, you remember, you, you've seen the old flow charts, you know, the if then else statements and, you know, you're going on one path and then you go to another path. If it's yes, go this way. If it's no, go that way. If it's equal to go that way, you know, that's what this is here. And that takes a little bit longer time. So I'm sure what they're doing is they're gonna have pushed this out to the testers and to make sure, and, and also, you know, also make sure that th this could be a significant issue. This could be this could be big. And so, um, you know, the more I'm thinking about it after watching Oz by Drone, the more I think that may be what the issue is, uh, kind of narrowing it down. But it was interesting, you know, all the different thoughts and everything that I heard about it from, you know, uh, that it could be an issue with the venue, um, that they could have had a security problem, that it could have been, they didn't have enough room. Um, you know, for the people, they didn't anticipate that. Um, you know, also heard things like, oh yeah, it's another supply issue. They didn't make enough. And I'm like, mm, probably not on that. And also the the really far out one that I heard was, oh, that this was planned, that DJ planned on doing this, that it's a marketing ploy to try to build up interest in their drones. And you know what, folks, got everybody, DJI doesn't need to do that. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you what, after getting my hands, and thank you again, Mel, that was great. By the way, if you guys don't, haven't gotten a chance, check out Mel's videos that he did when he was down here in Apollo Beach. Um, fantastic, he got some 
outstanding footage with his Inspire. And he got some great footage of Valerie and I. Definitely check those out. You guys, guys got to watch them. Mel is a top-notch pilot. You know, he's a, he's a great friend. He's also a top-notch pilot. So, um, Joe Goodwin, welcome from the UK. Thank you for joining today. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, DJI doesn't need to, to bolster this up at all. They, they really, they don't need to talk it up. So that's a fantastic thing. I mean, you know, that, that's not, that's not it. It, you know, narrowing it down to hardware and software and, um, you know, thinking more, it's like software, you know, and a lot of times if it's, it's not, you know, the, the firmware is going to have its issues and it happens all the time and they put these updates out and this is nothing like those updates those updates are you know oh you know we'll get the controller to do this or you know oh we forgot to do this and we found this would be an error you know these are easy fixes those are very relatively and they they come up to the surface right away uh, and they come up to the surface when we as a consumer get a hold of that and get a chance to test it because you know they have a finite number of people they can test it and you know on x number of thousand people buy this drone uh that dji is going to release it's going to have a lot more so do you guys think it's a coincidence that the leak photos came out thomas that is a fantastic question thank you for asking that um you know that's yeah it's yeah you know it, it it's a it's a it's a pretty good coincidence i mean you know i do i think here's 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 how i'll answer that what i think happened with this leak photo is i think they have a legit concern a legit problem um but what i think the dji did was they leaked this photo to try to get some good public relations ron thank you so much i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you um yeah, it, yeah exactly yellow lab the spot on that's exactly what i i was going to say you know that they, they did this as a leak for a postponing to try to keep that interest build up in a legitimate way and it does I mean, look, look at that. You know, I got, I have over 5,000 views and it's climbing. Um, Drone DJ put out the same video. He has 50,000 views because, you know, he has a, you know, wider span than I do. He reaches kind of around the world, um, you know, with Hey Kestel. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an entry, it, you know, people are really amped up about this and are hyped up about this. And it's definitely, they definitely did the right thing with leaking this photo, you know, and I did see, um, yeah, drone shots. I was just going to say that I've seen a lot of people and they've commented, they think it's a hoax. And, you know, we, we all learned a lesson back in March with Oceda Lab. Um, you know, the, the things that I'll say about this picture, one, it's not grainy. It's a clear picture. There's no, you know, there, there's no graininess to us. There's no shadows. Um, there's no different lighting in it. It's, it's brightly lit. It's well lit in there. Uh, you know, and, and it is detailed and it is different than a DJI Mavic Pro. You know, those are the things that I will say for sure. Uh, you know, this new gimbal assembly that's uh, laying down on there, um, that's something very interesting. And if that is the case, yeah, they, they can drone shots. Uh, you know, I, I don't I don't doubt that. But what I think here is, you know, I think we're seeing a real deal and my thoughts on it is I think what they leaked to us was probably an early test unit or an early prototype unit, not a finished product. That's exactly, you know, that, that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking in terms of that. Um, yeah, Rick, it is. If it is, it's a very good hoax. I agree hundred um, percent. You know, they, because, you know, you find, you'll find everybody. I mean, Hey, Kestelou, Billy, Rick Smith, um, other people out there. I know, um, Captain Jones, Steve um, from up in Canada, um, you know, same thing with him. Everybody, you know, we're all in agreement that this is a real drone, that, that this isn't a hoax. Um, and we want something, where, yeah, yeah. But I think it's an early version too. And yeah, you're right. You know, I, I really do think it's an early version. Um, but they wanted to get something out. They didn't want us, yeah, you're right, Original Chino. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, yeah, you know, um, did they have an event scheduled and all this you know who knows because you know there was never really you know and they haven't come out and talked about it you know and that's the thing that i feel i'm, I'm kind of funny here um i don't know if you guys 
catch my vibe, the DJI really hasn't communicated this. And they really haven't gone out there and said, well, you know, the event was, the news was broke by, by Hey Castle, which was great. Hey gets some, Hey has some great contacts with DJI. He, he told me about them offline and they, and they contact him with information. Um, you know, some of the, some of the other people have great contacts um, with, uh, with DJI. And, you know, Hey was all ready to go to the event on the 11th and then boom, the hammer drops and it's postponed. And um, Mars, welcome to the show. It was great chatting with you last night on Oz by Drone. Thank you very much for showing up this afternoon. Appreciate that. So, you know, as far as that's concerned, uh, you know, it's a drone. It's a real drone. Is it the final product? No, I don't think it's the final product. I don't think we're seeing a final product. Is it a teaser? Yeah, I think it's a teaser. It's something that's kind of to, you know, as they say, what's your appetite um, around here? It's something that, you know, we're being, we're given, you know, we're being given a sneak peek, which is, which is, you know, DJI, as they say, is throwing us a bone right here as far as, far as that's concerned. Um, you know, the, this postponement. And the thing that I'm finding um, rather interesting here is why they haven't, if this is a root directory issue or something, why they haven't come up, they haven't come out with an official statement after this. I mean, you know, I know Hay got the email from DJI, which was, which was published and absolutely nothing from DJI. If you go look on their Twitter or on Facebook, on DJI Global, there's nothing. Um, go out to their newsroom on their website. There's nothing on this, which I'm finding, I'm finding very odd. I mean, you know, that's just that's just something that, that's striking me odd. Why they haven't communicated this? Because you know usually they're very good at, at, at this type of communication. Now I would expect something, and this is just this is just just my gut telling me they're going to come out with something this week. They're going to they're going to give you give us a new date for it. Um, yeah, Casey. Yeah, yeah. I, I, def, 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 deflated. Yeah, since I'm on a vacation, with family wanted to go pull the trigger and get the Mavic Pro Platinum. Casey, I agree. You know, it's 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 interrupted a lot of people's plans because, you know, Valerie and I had plans. We had our tickets ready. We had our hotel reservations, ground transportation, you know, and here it's like, OK, it's on hold now. And, you know, I had vacation time arranged at work. It's on hold now. And do we know when? No. Um, you know, yeah. so, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm hoping that DJI will break some news this week. And that they'll also, with that news, they'll give us a new date as far as far as that. And I hope that date's kind of cast in concrete. I really do, because I don't think you know. And they leave left a lot of people on the fence, not only with travel arrangements, but especially ones who are going to be buying drones. That's a lot of money, and they're like in limbo. And hopefully, you know, DJI doesn't lose them to either Parrot or Autel or or some other drone manufacturer. So, and yeah, that's a real good possibility. Um, as far as that gimbal assembly is concerned, um, you know, being removable and being able to be used in other, other devices. Um, you know, I'm really thinking that's what this is. And, and if this is, and if that's the case, which I really think it is, it's a game changer. It's, it's, you know, it's the GoPro karma done right, you know, without no, without the battery falling out of the sky kind of a thing. You know, you know, DJI is going to get this right. And you know, they want to do it right. And, you know, th that's the one thing that I've been telling a lot of people. I've been getting a lot of emails and I've been trying to answer them and say, and say, look, you know, hang on there. You know, we're close. You know, don't, <laughs> you know, don't make a buying decision yet. I mean, if you have to get a drone, get a drone, get the drone that you think will best suit you right now. But, um, you know, if you can wait, definitely wait. I mean, there, there's no, you know, for me personally, um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see what DJI comes out with. And, um, you know, I'm I'm probably going to pull the trigger uh, if it's available to do so. Uh, you know, when it's available to do so, you know, it's it, if it, this this is going to be groundbreaking, especially like Ian said, if that can't if that camera is detachable from the gimbal and you can put it on like an Osmo type device, I know. I know Cedarlev, and I don't know if you guys saw this or not. He put out a tweet today with a diagram of this Osmo device, 
for this camera from the Mavic 2, Mavic Pro 2. Um, you know, it's just, just, you know, just, you know, he always prefaces this now with just, just what I'm thinking kind of stuff. So we, you don't know if that's a real deal, but if it is, that's a game changer because be able to use this camera on the Mavic, Mavic Pro 2, Mavic 2, and then also be able to take it off and use it on this handheld gimbal. Wow, that's that's incredible. Um, they're doing the Autel scheme. Stay very quiet. <laughs> LOL. Original Chino, you're right. They are. They're just being very, very quiet. Thomas, you're right. Best things in life are worth waiting for. LOL. I can tell you, I waited for Valerie for three years. <laughs> and, uh, I hit, I hit a, uh, the grand slam of all time. I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, you know, if you can wait, wait. Uh, you know, if you need to buy something, if you're going on vacation and you want to get a drone, get a drone, get the, get the one. Um, Mel, you're right. Yeah. You, uh, you did right. If you guys, Mel put out a great comment on my latest video and I got suggest you guys check that out. Um, he really put a lot of thought and effort into that. Mel, thank you for that comment. Um, guys, take a look at the, at the comment stream for the video that I put out. It came out today, the, the one um, event postponed. Why? Take a look at that. Mel put some good thought into it. Um, Ron, I'm wondering if you might be able to put on something you mentioned about the lawsuit and their legal team put the hold on things last minute. You know, that's a possibility. Um, you know, we're talking about software, which we think is highly probable, that patent. Now, you know, that patent's been going on for a couple of years, Ron. And... You know, it could be possible. It could be that Autel really put the thumb screws down to a judge and say, look, you know, you can't have them release anything because they may be, you know, they, it may be another patent infringement and all this kind of stuff. You know, so we don't know. We don't know. It could it could very well be. You could be you could be right. I mean, we, we don't know. Um, yeah. Original Chino, learn from your competitors. Yeah. You know, it could be the case. I mean, this is one of those dark horses. Now, one of the other dark horses, and you saw in the video that I talked about it, was um, tariff on, on imports from China. Now, I have absolutely no idea if this would even apply. I'm thinking it's more pricey type of things, maybe cars or much bigger, you know, things. But I don't know. I have absolutely no idea on that. I mean... None. I, I, do I think it plays into it? No, I don't. I, I really don't think that's part of it. Now, you know, one of the other things that people had talked about was FCC approval and the DJI has to make a correction in order to get approved by the FCC. So, you know, that that could be possible, too. That's one of those, you know, ones that I had in that middle category. So, you know, at this point, you know, we're, we're kind of wide open as far as that's concerned. We don't really know. Yellow Lab, thank you so much for donating to uh, to the Travel Fund and Valerie's birthday drink. She will absolutely love that. I will definitely, I will, I will take a picture of her birthday drink and get it out there. I'll post it on Build a Drone Reviewer on Facebook group and, and the Facebook page so you guys can see it and on Twitter. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely get a picture of that so you guys can see that for sure. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now, um, you know. We're, we're kind of in a holding pattern until we hear something from DJI officially. Mars, going to the World Drones Congress in Brisbane in August. Uh, at least that's not postponed. <laughs> um, uh, you know, that, that's good that that's not postponed. I'm sure you guys will have a great time with that. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, is there a patent for it, Bill? No, I haven't seen a patent for it yet, Drone Shots. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I really, really don't know. Um, you know, and I've been going out there now. Somebody had asked me the question and I went and I asked them about, he asked me about, did I check the FCC grant ID database for Mavic 2? And yes, I did. I didn't see anything out there. I think with this FCC grant ID, I think what they're going to do with this, they're going to do exactly what they did with the Spark and exactly what they did with the Mavic Air. And you're not going to see a grant ID approval until that date, the, whatever the release date is. And that happened with the Mavic Air on January 23rd. And last year, I think it was May 27th with the Spark. So, you know, you're not going to see that until those dates. I, I just, I, I absolutely, positively, firmly believe it. Mel, thank you very much for wishing Val a happy birthday. 
she really appreciates that. And like I said, you know, I'm going to put another plug in for Mel's videos. Guys, you need to you need to watch those videos he shot down at uh, a place called Apollo Beach down here. AZJ, AZRJR from Arizona, thank you. Put my money on the Evo. Well, you know, um, Ron has an Evo, and he sent me a real good email, and I'm going to put together um, some clips on that with Ron's permission, um, you know, so you guys can check it out. Um, a real good email and a, and a good review that Ron put together on that, you know. Um, you know, I'm hearing some good things on it, you know. I'm hearing some, okay, you know some other things on it and i would love to get my hands on a test unit i mean I, I would really like to put it through its paces but i think one of the problems right now um original chino posting a video tonight flew in the countryside of philly with the evo and film a silo oh wow that'd be great um that let, let us know when you post that that's that that'd be fantastic you know i'm anxious to, I, and i think part of the pro one of the problems i think is they can't, you know, in original Chino, you could probably answer, and Ron as well, too. Um, you know, batteries still aren't available. From what I hear, you know, they want to, um, you know, they want to get all their orders filled first before they ship out extra batteries. And, ooh, wow. You know, I know, you know, if you're out in the field and you're flying, you're not at home, you know, that's a long time. You, you can't, you know, you're out there for 20, 30 minutes, and boom, you got to pack it up. You're done. Um, Indra, yeah, Evo Cam plus ND filter is amazing. Um, definitely, um, you know, post a video on that, Indra. I'd love to see that. That'd be great. Uh, Rodney, welcome to the show this afternoon. Thank you for, for joining today. Um, yeah, I, I think the Evo is going to do well. Um, I think, you know, their hotel's taking this seriously, which is great. Um, you know, you know, most of the things, you know, again, you know, I will say this from my time that I had with Autel with the extra premium, there's software. Yeah, no batteries yet from your supplier. It's still quite on batteries or 85, but Autel sold out. Yeah. See, what I'm hearing, original Chino, I have somebody who somebody else who, who bought one is they're saying that they want to fulfill all the orders first before they do the batteries. So um, mm, you know, that's that's a I, I feel for you guys because you know, when you're out there and you're testing it and you want to get some video and you and you want it and you're out in the middle of the field, you know, 25 minutes and then boom, you're done. You have to go back home, pack it in. Um, Autel had uh, batteries available last Tuesday. Wow. Okay. That, wow. That's great. I just hope that they keep up with that. And, and I think they'll get their stuff straightened out. Now, from what I'm hearing, I'm hearing a real mixed bag. Um, uh, uh, regarding the parent anaphy. Um, you know, I've seen some, some positive reviews. I've seen some reviews about 50, 50. I've seen some real good, honest reviews. Original Dobo put out a good one. Um, everyday dad put out, out a good one. Um, there's another gentleman. I forget his name. He put out a pretty decent one as well too, but, um, it really seems like there's a lot out of the gate with, with the parent anaphy. And, you know, it, it, it sounds like it's, you know, it's, you know, the price point, it's probably not worth it. It's probably not worth $700 um, from everything that I'm seeing regarding this. Uh, I wish it was different. I wish, I wish it had come out. I wish it would, it, it had done well. I know um, Kim, welcome. Thank you. Hot, hot UK. Well, it, Kim, it, it's hot here too. It's hot in, my, hot in Florida. It's 90 outside and 90, 90% humidity and our air conditioning is broken. We're waiting for somebody to come out and service it. Thank goodness they'll be able to come out today. Uh, you did get two yesterday from Hotel. No tax, free day ship. Wow, that's great, um, AZRJR. Fantastic that you got those. I know those will be much needed. Um, absolutely for sure. Um, you know, I, I kind of feel for those who have bought the Anafe. Um, you know, um, outright and are testing it, and you know they're they're having you know, some of the video looks good. Some of it doesn't look good. I know Ken original Dobo had some issues uploading HDR video, um, you know, and getting some grainy footage and whatnot. And so, you know, it's, it's kind of disappointing. I, I, I know Billy had 104 in Phoenix. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's a toy drone. Rizzo, you know, you know, that that was kind of the word I was looking for with this, but it kind of escaped my mind. But yeah, I think you're right. I think it 
it's kind of like it's kind of like a toy drone um and it's a very expensive one plus in order um wi-fi is still bad isn't it yeah from what i heard ron yeah um you know with with the anafi you have to pay 17 dollars to unlock some of these modes like you know the follow me mode or 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 other things i mean they offer some basic stuff but beyond that you know it's it's you got to plunk down 17 dollars each time to unlock some of these modes and wow and I, I guess too billy kyle went to their release event that they had in new york city and he was pretty high on it and had some high hopes for it and you know i had seen some some reviews and you know that were that looked half decent um but you know I, then i saw the one captain drone steve did one um then i saw original dobos and um you know then i saw some other ones and you know and it's and it's it's not toward the favorable end i know the verge put out one and and they really, they they really, they were kind of like not real nice about about it. They were pretty direct and to the point. But um, you know, for me, um, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I, I'm thinking the price needed to have been lower. Uh, you know, obstacle avoidance. You know, a lot of us, a lot of people said, you know, ah, uh, but you know, I don't know who it was. I heard uh, put up a good um, put a good thought out there. You know, you're filming something, but then if you're backing away from it, you really you don't have a rear you know your rear facing camera unless you have a, your camera goes 360 like an Inspire, so you don't know what's behind you and you may hit something. You know, and having that rear obstacle avoidance would be fantastic, and having some obstacle avoidance on the Anafi would be fantastic, and there's none. So, mm, 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 mm. toy drone cost you 999 by paying to unlock features. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I know that I know what I know what Parrot was trying to do and trying to keep the price down on that, and I, and and I give them give them that. And they also said I read an article, and I think it may have been on Drone DJ. In fact, it was Kim. Thank you so much, Valerie. A pre pina colada fun. There you go. That's uh, that sounds like what we need today without air conditioning in here. That's for sure. A very cold, cold one. Um, you know. What I had read was Parrot was trying to keep costs down. Not only that, and they really said they listened to their um, to their customers and what they wanted in a drone. And th they did get a lot of that, but you know they could have had the um, you know some obstacle avoidance in there. There's none. There's zero obstacle avoidance in there. And um, yeah, it is. It is Ken. It, it really is a huge miss on their part. Well, um, original Dobo's on the show. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to him. You know, th that was a big miss on, on Parrot's part by not, not putting that on there And this, you know, and like I said, you know, the $17 for this feature, $17 for that feature, you know, by then original Chino, you're right. You're going to spend, you know, what a thousand dollars just to unlock the features on a drone that is not worth us out a thousand dollars. Uh, you know, yeah. I like to meet these customers to talk to them or they're flying in, in the desert okay um evo does pretty well at night i have a video posted on my channel it was decent real sheen i want to watch I'm, I'm definitely going to check that out this afternoon i definitely like to see that um you know th that's a shame I, you know there was high hope there's there was high hopes for the anafi i really did and i was really kind of pumped after billy saw it because you know he had some hands-on time with it and um, you know, the price uh, cheap to nickel and dime you like, you're right, Ken. Absolutely. That's what they did. They just, you know, you know, and these nickel and dimes would add up by that time you could have bought an Evo. I mean, and, you know, and, and I will say this, okay, folks, I can say that. And, and I haven't actually held the Evo. It looks solid. It really does. I think that, you know, I tell, you know, without any question, they make solid hardware. They really do. And, I'm thinking they're getting their act together with the software, which is fantastic news. Um, it, it, it really is. Um, I just wish I just wish Parrot would have done that. You know, that, that's we need Parrots to succeed. We need Autel to succeed to help you know force DJI, you know, to do good things and to keep prices down and so forth. Because when Autel succeed and you know Parrot succeeds. You know, it's a win for us because it pushes DJI to do better things and to try to keep their price point down at a certain level. Um, you know, what's up with the Mavic 2 camera? Any specs, guesses, zoom? 
Cliff, you know, I've seen all kind of things on it, you know, as, as far as the camera is concerned uh, regarding megapixels, you know, one inch sensor doesn't have a one inch sensor. It's not big enough to have one that it will have a lossless zoom that it won't have a lossless zoom. Uh, I've seen it's it's all over the place as far as far as that's concerned regarding the camera. But, you know, the one thing that I will say about the camera, I think that it's going to be a step up from what the Mavic Pro is right now. You know, that that's a given. And if they come out with two models of the Mavic Pro, and I know I know Mel doesn't agree with me on this, but if they do come out with with two models, you can bet that the Mav let's let's just call it the Mavic 2 and then the Mavic Mavic Pro 2. Mavic 2 is going to have a better camera than the Mavic Pro does right now. And, you know, the Mavic Pro 2 will probably have, you know, maybe the detachable part. But who knows? You know, I'm just I'm just throwing this out there for grins and giggles. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Evo is nice and solid. You know, I'm a Mavic 4 Pro, prefer Evo. Hope they clear up software issues. I do like DJI software better. Um, you know, AZRJR, you're probably right. James, thanks for showing up. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, you know, I think Autel is getting its act together with software. I mean, there wasn't this massive delay like when I had with the X-Star Premium. And I think Ken probably remembers that. Oh, my gosh. That was like, you know, that, that was waiting on uh, – it was kind of like, you know, wait, waiting for ketchup to come out of a bottle, that old – anticipation song from Carly Simon. I mean, seriously, um, you know, waiting for that. It was just like taking a snooze and, and waiting for them to get this corrected. And they knew the problem and it just kind of lingered on and on and on. Um, will it kill the Phantom 4 series? No reason. Um, no, Cliff, I don't think it will. Um, you know, remember the Phantom 4 series still has the mechanical shutter on it. Um, so no, it's not, it's not going to kill it. It's going to be there. And, you know, later this year, it, uh, when I believe the Phantom 5 series will come out. I um, was wondering that too, Cliff. What do you think, Bill? Um, uh, what? Okay, hang on. Uh, no reason. No, it's not, Cliff. It, it's, it's, or, or, and Ron, it's not going to kill the Phantom 4. It really won't. And um, Mel, or Bill, welcome. Um, it's not going to kill the Phantom 4. It, it won't. And, um, you know, they put out, th there were a couple of reasons they put out the, um, the V2. One of them was to test the new OcuSync 2.0. And the other one was, was to kind of bridge that gap between now and say the end of the year or at the third quarter when it will be more than likely that they come out with a Phantom 5. That's my guess right there. Um, plus, you know, it's also a good vehicle for them to be able to test and to be able, you know, to have something out there in consumer hands to be able to test this new OcuSync and see how the range is and see how it works. So, you know, it was a brilliant idea on DJI's part to do that. And, and as I've said, and a lot of people have said, DJI does not waste technology. Um, you know, you, what, you've, what you've seen, you know, in the higher ends trickles down to the lower end drones and it's fantastic. Um, the only reason why we lug a P4P around is its camera system. Um, why, well, Cliff, you know, it's it's a camera system that, that works and it works well and you know people are wanting smaller drones they're they're wanting collapsible drones but let me tell you this cliff and you know and um you know i'm gonna sing mel's praises here um i get enough i get enough coffee fund money together i may steal it from the coffee fund. no i won't um but if i can raise enough money i would get an inspire one v2 in a heartbeat I tell you what, Mel. Thank you again for that opportunity to be able to fly that. Um, it was it was wow, wow. Uh, that, that's all I can say. Until you've flown one, you don't, uh, you know. In, in the case that that comes in, wow, <laughs> it's that's big too. I couldn't put it when 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 we picked up Mel and took him down to fly it. That case had to go in the back of the bed of my pickup truck because it wasn't going to fit inside. That's how big this case is for the Inspire. But I'm telling you, you know, when you get a chance to fly one of those drones, it's just like everything else is just like, boom. It's just like it fades away. I mean, wow. The responsiveness, how fast it is. It really is, Mel. Uh, you know, and, you know, and, and I've been keeping my, an eye out on eBay like you have. So, you know, who knows? You know, if I get some funds together, 
you know, that would definitely be something I'd consider without a doubt. I, I'm just, I was just so impressed with that. A absolutely. Well, I know um, Billy posted today, he's getting an Inspire too with the money he's earned through um, DJI. And kudos to you, Billy, for that. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm anxious to, to see you getting that and get some video on that. And I can tell you, if you haven't flown one before, you know, an Inspire, you are just, it's going to blow you away. I can tell you that right now. It's just absolutely fantastic. Um, James, yeah, I, I can, wow. Those Inspires are just, wow. And I know Ian Jones, I know from what you've told me, you know, un until you try it, I mean, I, I got my hands on a P4P for the first time from Mel. Thank you for that as well. And that was very responsive. That was a great drone to fly. I love that. Um, you know, I've never had a bad experience flying a drone. I really haven't, you know, and that includes the X-Star Premium. I mean, with this, you know, granted the software issues, but, you know, the drones are responsive, you know, easy to fly. Uh, I really, but I can't say enough about that Inspire. Wow. It's kind of like, you know, I go to bed at night thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but, you know, I go out there and, it, it amazes me. Um, Ken, welcome. You've ever had a flyaway? DJ customers want a more bug free? No, Ken, you know what? I have not, I've never had a flyaway. I, I never have. Um, and one of the things that, one of the things that I do that I'm fastidious about is I, I mean, if I move from the front yard to the backyard or if I move just a you know, in locations, you know, I'll recalibrate the compass. You know, I'm, I'll sell you one. I know you will, Mel. I know you will. I just, you know, it's it's kind of like that that green stuff that makes the world go round. Um, called called you know with George Washington's face on it. Um, you know that's 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 what I need about a, you know a thousand or more of right now. So that's where I'm at regarding that. Um, so um, oh Steve, you had a leak under the house. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. Hope you got hope you got it taken care of. Um, you're going to take all of Al's coffee fun and then some. Yeah. <laughs> well, that coffee fun, if I touch that coffee fun, you won't be seeing Bill the Drone Reviewer. You'll be seeing Valerie for Bill the Drone Reviewer <laughs> in here in doing videos because I will be persona non grata. Um, James, I had a hard, hard time choosing between the P4P Plus and Inspire One. It was 1999 on exam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good deal. You got a good deal there, James. I don't. I don't blame you, but yeah, Ron. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a smart man. I, I like I like to live. Okay. First thing I did today, just to digress for just a quick second here, I'm gonna wrap things up here. But just to digress, first thing I did today was after I got up was I got dressed and I went to Starbucks to get Mallory something for her birthday. I I, I know how the my world works, and my world is working very well right now. So. Um, Rodney, what do you do now about your bill? Yeah, that's a good question, Rodney. Um, I, I'm just on hold. I still have, what's nice is I made our plane reservations through South, we made our plane reservations through Southwest so we can transfer those. Um, we're gonna prop, we're gonna rebook our hotel. We had a had a decent hotel at a decent, decent price and ground transportation. So um, yeah, she has me trained well, Ron, I'll tell you that. So yeah, we'll we'll just rebook those whenever we get the official email from from DJI, and I'm waiting on that, you know, as, as we all are. So, who knows? Um, welcome from India, um, Shireen. I'm sorry, I probably botched your name, but welcome. Thank you for joining the show this afternoon. So to kind of recap here, um, you know, I got some new videos coming out. We're going to be having, um, you know, some of the videos I got coming out. You guys submitted some fan fantastic videos for the one year anniversary uh build a drone viewer i'm going to be putting a video video is going to come out on that this week i watched all of them you guys can just again like you did with your pictures you knocked them out of the park fantastic absolutely thank you so much uh the other thing is i'm going to be having a video come out i'm calling it state of the channel instead of state of the union how about that i'm going to be coming out with those videos once a quarter now you know, I'm going to be, be quoting some statistics with that, you know, like how many videos, how many subscribers, some kind of boring things and just some kind of, it's, it's not really a channel update. It's kind of like a state of the channel on how things are. So be watching for, for something uh, regarding that. Um, Sandy, Sandy, uh, welcome. Thank you for, for joining. Um, 
be watching for that. Anything else, any updates? As soon as DJ puts out an update regarding the event and when it's rescheduled to, I'll definitely get something out about that. Uh, you know, if we get any more leaks regarding pictures, you know, I'll definitely definitely get that out. Um, you know, we got a lot going on. There's a lot going on right now. And we're going to have Tuesday Night Rotor Talk Live. Be sure to tune in. I really think, um, CJ, I'll get to you in just a second. Hang on a second here. Um, I'm really hopeful of getting a very special guest. You guys will recognize him immediately. I know you won't have, you know, there won't, there won't be, a, I won't have to do an introduction for him. So um, I think you guys will really enjoy him. Um, he did email me the other day. It sounds like he'll be able to do it. So I'm going to try to firm that up with him tonight or tomorrow. Um, hopefully get him on. Um, CJ, I still not purchased a real drone yet. I'm waiting for the new Mavic to come out. We'll let you know. Enjoy watching. Thank you, CJ. I appreciate that. Thank you. Have you used the Litchi app? No, I have not, uh, Mars. I have not used that yet. Um, I've heard good things about it. I've heard not so good things about it. And, you know, while the Go4 app means a lot, you know, could be updated, um, you know, it, it's worked for me. Um, Florida Drone Supply. Yes, they did, James. I did see that. Um, you know, my problem is, again, cash supply. <laughs> That's where I'm at with that. Rodney, do you think DJ will tell us? Yeah, I do. Um, I think they're going to tell us sometime this week, Rodney. I really do. I think they're going to come out and let us know and give us give us some kind of an update because, you know, they don't want to leave people hanging too much longer. Um, because, you know, while we're traveling within the States, there were people traveling from overseas and coming here. Um, so, yeah, it's we're going to... We're, we're definitely going to going to be doing that. Um, they're, they're definitely going to be doing something because they don't want to keep, you know, all these people on hold regarding regarding this. So um, that's what I think is going to happen. I think there, there's going to be something coming out this week. Uh, I want to call your attention also to going to kind of wrap things up here. Yeah, we do need that update from DJI. You're right, Rodney. Um, one of, uh, again, you know. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm getting real close. Probably within the next day or two, we're going to hit 3,000 3, subscribers. And I just wanted to take a minute and thank all of you guys, every single one of you for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for contributing to Valerie's Coffee Fund, the Super Chats. We appreciate that. We, you know, we take every one of those with a great thank you. But the best thank yous, as I've always said, and the best way to support this channel, I know I have, I've had a couple of people who have emailed me and said, you know, they're on a fixed income. They can't be able to do that. And I said, you know what? You're commenting on videos. You're liking videos. You've subscribed. And you pass it on to others. Those are the things that are the best thing for my channel. And I want to thank each and every one of you for doing that. You guys absolutely are fantastic. You're great. Your comments are fantastic. You're great in chat. You know, you know, I may not agree 100% on everything, you know, with your comments or whatever, but you keep it clean. You keep it nice. You keep it decent. And, and, and I appreciate that. And, I, and I'm thankful for, you know, different viewpoints. And we can have that. But you know what? At the end of the day, you know, bottom line is this. You know, you know people talk about DJI fanboys, Autel fanboys, Parrot fanboys. You know what? We should all be called just drone fanboys, okay? Because you know what, if it has if it has four propellers on it and you have a remote controller, you know, I'm a drone fanboy, you know, I'm getting to fly some of those smaller ones um, that are uh, fantastic. A drone is a fantastic piece of machinery. And, you know, being able to do that, I think, is just absolutely amazing. It's fantastic. And if you can find people to fly with, all the more better. Um, you know, having Mel and flying with him, that was just such a blast. Mel, again, thank you so much for that. Thank you for sharing an afternoon with Valerie and I. That that was fantastic. We we absolutely loved it. It, it, it was it was great. You know, I, I can't say enough about that. So um, you know, be looking for, you know, I want to kind of wrap things up here. Be looking for, you know, Tuesday night rotor talk live will be coming out with that. Um also uh I'm gonna be on Oz by Drone on Saturday night and it's going to be, I'm thinking at nine Eastern, um, eight central. 
So be looking for that. I know Mel's a moderator on there and he's watched that. And I'm so glad he, he clued me in on them and, and getting that email from them. I'm looking for that. Um, I'm invited to pastor future DJ on new lineup events. Uh, if not, there's someone, um, CJ, you know, that's a, that's a good question. Um, what they do basically, um, in order to get, uh, invitation to the event, they look at, they look at, um, they look at people, you know, drone reviewers and, and content creators. Um, they look at their content. They look to see, for instance, you know, how many subscribers, you know, you're probably looking at a minimum of a thousand subscribers or more. Um, you know, do you have social media channels hooked up? Uh, do you have, um, are, are you active and involved with that? Um, they look at your view count. They look at your, uh, you know, minutes watched. Um, they look at your total videos and what your content is. Um, you know, so it's a whole host of things in order to get invited to that event. And it's not easy. It's something that I, I've worked very hard for. You know, I tried last year, um, you know, and I tried early with the, with the uh, Mavic Air event, um, but I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, dissuaded by not getting invited. Um, you know, I built my channel up, you know, we're over, got to that point, got to be over a thousand. Now we're going to hit 3000, you know, and they also look for channels that are growing too. They don't want people to, um, they don't want, want to invite people whose channels aren't growing and, and, and reaching people. So, you know, those are the things that they're looking for with something like that. Um, Thomas, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, th thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You know, again, you know, you guys absolutely are fantastic. Your comments are great. Um, each and every one of you, I thank you guys so much. Thank you for your emails. Hey, guys, if you ever have a question, um, Lloyd, thanks. I'm getting ready to wrap up so you can watch the replay, but, but thank you for checking in. Um, you know, thank you guys again. I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, Mars, thanks so much. I'm looking forward to being on Oz by Drone on Saturday night. That's going to be fun. You guys get a chance. Please check that out. Those guys run a great show down there. They're extremely knowledgeable. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Guys, have a good rest of your Sunday. Hopefully we get some air conditioning in this place. Because I have a fan blowing on me right now. You're welcome, Rodney. Um, we'll see you guys Tuesday night, um, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, 9 p.m. Central here in the States. Um, you know, if you watch the replay, you guys uh, over in the UK. And thank you guys from UK for joining today. You know, I know Rodney, Ian, uh, Thomas, and, and others, and, and some of the other ones, Sandy Sandy from India. Um, and Mars from, from um, Australia. Thank you guys so much. Really, really, really appreciate that. And thank you all for wishing Valerie a happy birthday. Um, you know, that means a lot, lot to me. Um, um, thank you so much. And Chris, oh, Chris, thank you. For, thank you again, you know, being from England. We appreciate that. Oh, okay, Rick. Oh, Rick, uh, you know, we'll say some, uh, say some prayers for you. Hope it all, hope it all turns out. Please keep us posted on that. Um, yeah, I, and trust me, Mel, that's in the works. Not a, not a problem on that. Um, so, so hopefully you can do that. Lloyd, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That, that, that That's fantastic of you. We, we, we really appreciate that. Um, thank you guys again. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day today. If those of you can join Tuesday, we'll see you on Tuesday night, hopefully with that special guest. We're looking forward to it. Um, you know, and as always, if you guys hear anything that – you think I may have not heard about it. If you have a question, uh, always drop me a line to build a drone reviewer at gmail.com. And I'll, that's the fastest way to get a hold of me, and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and happy flying.